was a pioneer actress, a trailblazer, a black icon that spanned her career for nearly 70 decades. Yes, I'm talking about Cicely Tyson. We talk about her incredible life. So we talk about the extraordinary life of Cicely Tyson here on Five. Welcome to Val on this sad news. We hate to report that legendary trailblazing actress Cicely Tyson had passed away at the age of 96 years old. Cicely Tyson, many people may have remember her from her Academy Award nomination in the movie Sounder. Some currently in this modern form known her from Hollywood Way to Get with Murder in The Hill. In Tyler Perry's I Can Do Bad By Myself. Cicely Tyson led an incredible mark, an incredible story that she shared for her final days with CBS Gail King on how did she want to, how her career started, how did she want to be remembered, and what was next. And she had a memoir that came out that week during her final days. Let's take back a look at Gail King interviewing Cicely Tyson. Yes. Tyson, as you know, she's being remembered this morning for her genius as an actor, and yet her heart and humanity in blazing a trail for other black performers is what many people are talking about today. The Oscar, Emmy, and Tony winner died yesterday, ending a hugely influential career that lasted through seven decades. She was 96 years old, and we spoke with her a week ago before the release of her new memoir, Just As I Am. It came out on Tuesday, and she told us about the obstacles that she had overcome to make her dreams come true. Whenever I'm offered a script, the first thing I do, I read a script a hundred times or more. I just keep reading and reading until I feel it. When I get to the point where I feel like her skin has fitted my arm or my mind, my skin will tingle. Oh my God. It's Nathan. Nathan! From her Oscar-nominated performance in Sounder to her Emmy-winning performance in the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman to her Tony win for the trip to Bountiful. Why well, is it some days everything works out and some days nothing works out? Huh? Cicely Tyson put her heart into every role she played. That was part of her gift, was her access to her humanity. LeVar Burton starred with Tyson in the TV miniseries Roots. She was that deep well of strength and resilience and elegance and grace and beauty and her talent was her ability to effortlessly access all of that humanity. Tyson pursued her dream of acting despite her mother's objections. She didn't speak to you. Oh, she told me I couldn't live there and do that because she thought that I was going to live in a den of iniquity. Tyson succeeded at a time when black women were at the bottom rung of the ladder, but she never gave up. You said when you started acting, you dreamed of seeing yourself in the front row of the Oscars. I said one day, and this was long before I got to be, I said one day I'm going to sit in the front row of the Oscar Awards. And I did. <laughs> no, Tyson was among the Kennedy Center honorees in 2015 and was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom the following year. What my life became is not what I expected. I had no idea that I would touch anybody. When the time comes, what do you want us to remember about you? I've done my best. Wow. As you saw right there, a real sweet moment. Cicely Tyson talked about her journey from being a Hollywood actress who was getting memorable roles until she started getting prominent roles. And Cicely Tyson was that. 
she was a prominent person, an important person, a trailblazing person that led the way for people like Viola Davis, um, you know, other actresses in color, Oprah Winfrey, um, got the other lady name, um, but I know. But she led a pathway, and Cicely Tyson led that. Let's look back at her incredible story with this. Just with the very latest on all of this. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Cecilia. Revered for her timeless performances of uncommon depth and feeling, Cicely Tyson was an actress whose courageous and uncompromising portrayals reshaped how millions of Americans looked at their nation's history and at themselves. Cicely Tyson utilized her exceptional abilities to enlighten audiences, to inspire pride, and to advocate for understanding and fundamental change. There were so many issues that I felt that I had to address, and I used my career as my platform. She'd been acting for two decades when at age 47, in the 1972 sharecropper family drama Sounder, Tyson would see her film career take flight. She'd be hailed for her fire and indomitability. <laughs> Nominated for a Best Actress Oscar, and her character sprint across a field to embrace her husband and become a defining image of 70s cinema. Two years later, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman was a tour de force, a TV movie featuring Tyson as she depicted a woman born into slavery and living into the civil rights era. By 1977, when she played Kunta Kinta's mother in the television epic Roots, Tyson had already done work of monumental significance. Yet unlike white actors, she would not get nearly as many opportunities to showcase her artistry and insight. And as she told Robin Roberts in 2008, she turned down parts that she felt adhered to negative stereotypes. I felt very strongly that had I accepted any of those roles, I couldn't live with myself. From the 90s into the 21st century, Cicely Tyson would at last begin to receive the kind of acclaim which she had deserved for so long. She'd appear in 91's Fried Green Tomatoes. The sequence in the sauce. 2011's The Help. She'd star with Viola Davis in How to Get Away with Murder. Anyway, I'm happy because I make myself happy and I make myself happy by loving him. Her creative collaboration with filmmaker-actor Tyler Perry would begin with Diary of a Mad Black Woman in 2005 and end with 2020's A Fall from Grace. She'd received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, an honorary Oscar, and induction into the Television Hall of Fame. And in 2013, she'd win a Tony for her performance in The Trip to Bountiful. I'm the sole surviving member of my immediate family. And I've asked over and over again, why? I now know why. Overnight, an outpouring of tributes from Oprah Winfrey. Her life so fully lived is a testimony to greatness. To Tyler Perry, always so regal, always so classy, always a lady, always a queen. And President Obama. Sicily had a heart unlike any other. Born in Harlem, a model in her earlier days, she'd tell Robin Roberts that her parents hadn't wanted her to be a performer at first. And there is my mother standing at the door accepting congratulatory remarks. Yes, I always knew she was going to, you know, ever since she was a little girl, you know, she liked to sing and dance and perform. I knew and I couldn't believe. Two days after the publication of her memoir, Just As I Am, Cicely Tyson died Thursday at the age of 96. Her words and her work endure, while her courage and commitment... You saw her incredible story. A lot of people are saddened, but a lot of people are rejoicing. She lived a long time. That is impressive. 96 years old. She was near to 100. And she lived a remarkable life, a remarkable story. And um, the book that she had, won a remarkable book for her memoir to go out, you know, her final vow, her final act. And, you know, ain't no best to go out than that. But, you know, it was nice of her doing that. People like celebrities and prominent figures like Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, had their heartfelt messages. And other celebrities in Black Hollywood that Miss Tyson had worked with. All right, let's hear what you people had to say about Cicely Tyson, remembering Cicely Tyson, and remembering the career of Cicely Tyson with this. 
looks like that they were just born to be pioneers. Her cadence was so unique, the way she spoke, and every single yes. word meant something. And, uh, you know, besides her acting, which was obviously phenomenal, uh, received, received an honorary Oscar, bigger than that was the fact that she pioneered before it was cool, Sam. She pioneered when it was going to cost you money, cost you roles, when there were m maybe only five, ten roles in all of Hollywood for black people, men and women, to refuse those roles because of your pride and dignity. How many of us can really say that we would do that? I hope a lot of uh, young women, young actresses and actors look at her courage and realize that your dignity is more than just a check that you receive. For everybody out there that says they can't do anything, for all the excuses of the world being against and I'm not talking about black women. I'm talking about everybody here, right? You think it's hard for you now. Go back seven decades and try doing the exact same thing she did. And you think things are hard now? I don't think so. What a true pie. Can you imagine what she's, the adversity she's faced? Not only that, she she also crossed over in comedy. She's the first black woman to host SNL. SNL. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yes. And they had in, in one of the highest ratings, ratings ever. ever. I know. And it's like this woman touched everyone right. everywhere at different decades, at different times, and means something different. She's resting in power yes, right she now. she is. Yeah. What a gift. What wow. a true gift. And we know that not only her movies and everything, her legacy will last forever, but to Al's point, every single young person that has the uh, ability to listen to just one of her speeches yeah. will be able to take something from her and they can apply it to whatever field they're in so she will definitely be missed moving for me i loved cecily tyson dearly she was a dear friend to myself to mrs butts to our entire church i described her as a diva with grace she she carried herself as a an actress of an actor of great renown she didn't take a back seat to anyone she would not she would not prostitute her gifts she wouldn't sell herself to the highest bidder she wouldn't take any role just to make the dollar she sacrificed because of that but she was a woman of great dignity, great spiritual strength, great faith. She had a place in our church where she would sit. She bought that pew in memory of her mother. We don't sell pews so that people can sit in them, but she donated to our church and she asked that when she was here and could, she could sit there and of course we agreed. But she would come to church often and you wouldn't even know she was here. She would not be spectacular as she can be. She would just sit in the back and worship God. She was here every Sunday. She could be when she wasn't working, traveling. She was a good member. And you know my expression, if your religion won't take you to church, it is doubtful it will take you to heaven. I believe she is enjoying the peace of heaven. Cicely Tyson will be missed. We'll say more when we know more about her final services. I understand uh, now in speaking with the family that it will be a private service. They're trying to arrange for a community viewing. So we will announce that. Watch the website. Just last Thursday, she drifted uh, here to do a uh, interview with Gail King. We saw her then and embraced and talked for a while. And um, at the end of the interview, Gail King asked uh, Cicely Tyson, when the time comes, what do you want us to remember about you? And Miss Tyson answered and said that I did my best. That I did my best. So 96 years of living a glorious life. And her memoir, just as I am, is coming out. And uh, you can pay tribute to Cicely by getting a copy of that memoir. And uh, it's being, uh, it is currently sold out on Amazon, but we wait word from the publisher, Harper Collins, when the book will become available again. And it's some story, beloved. I mean, you know, she, she's just wonderful. And reading her story will give 
encouragement and inspiration to generations of young men and women, particularly those who are in the arts, who are in the arts. So our hearts are broken and we are saddened, but she lived a triumphant life. She was, um, she was God's gift to us. We've had many celebrities who attended our church faithfully and religiously. Uh, many who have demonstrated great faith. Uh, among them was one like uh, Moms Mabley. Thank you, Whoopi Goldberg. Moms Mabley. Moms was a good member. She would sit to the, to the left here, to my left, your right, in the balcony. A good member. Um, and a great artist. And uh, so, beloved, I, I, I thank you for your prayers, your calls, and we are working with the family and we will have the final information for you, as you can imagine, uh, in this season of COVID and as popular as she was, it's taking the family a moment to get everything uh, together. And if you look at our website, you see that we are also mourning the passing of the baseball great Henry Hammer and Hank Aaron. I know his widow very well, Sister Billy Allen, uh, Aaron rather, Billy Aaron. She's a member of the Friendship Church there in Atlanta. She's been here to worship, and we send our love and our prayers out to her as we do to the daughter and family of Cicely Tyson. My mother picked it on the screen. She believed with every ounce of her being, this was her true purpose in life. Cicely Tyson died this week at the age of 96. With me now is actress and producer Erica Alexander, who was in the miniseries Mama Flora's Family with Cicely Tyson in 1998, and more recently pr produced the John Lewis documentary, which I adored, called Good Trouble. Erica, so happy to have you with me uh, this morning. I know we are both so Thank you, sad. Thank you for yes. being here, and we're both so sad. I mean, we know that Cicely Tyson is not immortal, but uh, it's yes. still really sad to see her leave this earth. One thing interesting I thought about her is she really refused to take roles where black women were not portrayed in a good light, roles without death. Um, tell me, if you will, your memory of Cicely Tyson, and do black women still face that issue in the industry? Absolutely, and thank you, um, Tiffany, for uh, this moment to talk about her. If you were a black actress working in Hollywood or on stage, Cicely was the alpha and the omega. If you said her name, it meant excellence. And um, for so many actresses who had to play those roles that they were offered, they had no power to make change. And all the executives and agents or managers who were white, they saw no value in cultivating black talent. But she was different. She was different and she could play those roles because they did. So they set the table for her. But dark skin usually was a ticket to the kitchen or the mean streets, prostitute roles or welfare office. But she set a new standard and she raised the bar. If you were dark skin, you could be considered a woman, a full human being with agency, emotion. And that was empowering. So she did that. And she did it well. She did it for a very long time when it um, wasn't in vogue. So I remember one of the first uh, movies I saw her in when I first fell in love with her, and that was Bustin' Loose. It was her and Richard Pryor uh, when they were oh, yes. driving the kids in the bus. It was one of my oh, favorite I, movies. I love that movie. What was your first movie that you saw her in? I, it was either Sounder or um, uh, Jane Pittman. And I remember being captivated because she also did the Confederate soldier role, too. But she was a person who was a character actor and she was a leading woman. Uh, that's, that's using um, something that she's innately gifted with, which is DNA, which is charisma, but also her profound talent to sort of transcend herself. She did that very well. And so I really love those roles. And I didn't really know her name. I just remember the character she played. And then, of course, she learned who Cicely Tyson is, and for all of us, and I'm, you're talking about people like um, Alicia Rashad, Whoopi Goldberg, CCH Pounder, Hattie Winston, Latanya Richardson, Lorraine Toussaint, these are the people who raised me. They're the people who taught me my craft, and they looked up to Cicely Tyson. So to me, it's a direct line, and there's no, um, there's no break between her, and if, especially if you, you do serious roles, and any black actress, and that has to go beyond skin color, light and or dark. 
And let me just say while I have you, I mean, I remember seeing you as Pam on, on Living Single. Obviously, as one of the Cosby kids as well, but you really crystallized your role as Pam, and it made so many people feel like they could be lawyers, and, you know, they could go out and live in cute little New York apartments and live this life. So it, it says something about representation, and the actress Cicely Tyson's memoir is out this week, just as I am, uh, so I hope people will just memorize uh, or, or take a moment to remember Cicely Tyson in her life and read her memoir. She was beauty, she was grace, and she was the culture. So she will definitely be remembered and live on in our memories forever. So thank you so much, Erica. You will always be my generous baby girl, whether you like it or not.
Winfrey paid tribute. Then we were talking to her at her church home. I could not afford the luxury of just being an actress. She was engaged and she was lively and she was so excited about things to come. Do you feel like you have more to do? Yes, that's why I'm still here. This was not a doddering 96-year-old woman. That is not who she was. She was sitting in that interview wearing Manola Blahnik pumps. She was, that's how good Cicely Tyson was looking. Gail got the heartbreaking news from her best friend, Oprah. Oprah called me, actually. She said, have you heard? And I could tell, see that she was visibly upset, and I go, what are you talking about? Oprah honored the pioneering actress at her 2006 Legends Ball. I don't know if there would have been a Legends Ball if Oprah didn't have the affection and the relationship she had with Cicely Tyson. They had been trying to get together, you know, to meet, and it wasn't working out, and Oprah decided, let me do something, and it moved from Cicely Tyson to many other people, black women who she felt had made a difference in her life, who she admired, and who paved the way. Today is Oprah's birthday. January 29th is her birthday. And she and Stedman plan to celebrate and honor today by watching the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. Just the two of them. Cicely opened up to Gail about her seven-decade career. I never shed a tear about that until this moment. She was overcome with emotion as she relived a dramatic encounter with a former acting coach. He pulled me down. And he was and touching you and groping you? Yes. No, what he wanted me to do was something worse than that. I thought um, about the whole incident when I got home. And I said, but why did you go back to him? And she held up her finger and she goes, I didn't go back to him. I went back to the class because he was not going to deprive me of my dream. The screen icon had a tumultuous seven-year marriage to jazz legend Miles Davis. He was unfaithful. He was verbally abusive to her. He was also a drug addict. Many times where she had to help him get through that while he was flaunting his in infidelity in her face. But she said, at the end of the day, I loved him and he loved me. Was he the love of your life? Yes. She said, hostility and devotion can live in the same place for the same person. And sometimes love has no logic. Do you even think about death? Oh, I think about it. Of course I think about it. I know it's inevitable. I'm amazed every single day I live. When the time comes, what do you want us to remember about you? I've done my best. A lot of people with a lot of sweet remarkable messages sweet uplifting messages that Cicely Tyson was that she was a trailblazer and she was indeed that a trailblazer and a trailblazer indeed she had a score in her life at 96 years old what a remarkable way and uh, you know Lord knows when your time comes you want to do right by people and a lot of people came out outpouring support for her so that's a remarkable life right there so I'm going to leave it to Miss Cicely Tyson on her final interview she did with Live with Ryan and Kelly a day before she passed. I've been your host Kendra Dix saying so long and we'll see you next time for another edition of Vow.